Welcome back to the San Antonio Marshals franchise. And before we get going here, I just wanted to uh, thank everybody for all the support. It's kind of crazy now. Over you know 2,000 subscribers. I didn't even think I would ever get one. So just once again, thank you guys for so much of all the support. Uh, you know, it's because of you guys that I have this. It's it's crazy to think about. Um, I know it's not a whole ton of you know subscribers, but to me it is like a million and it's amazing and thank you guys so much once again i appreciate all the support i always do it, it is really unbelievable so thank you guys once again and now we can uh get into this here so what we're gonna do is sim week four and week five against the bills and the falcons and then we'll move into week six game against the ravens so uh, that'll be an interesting one our former team uh, but obviously scouting is important trying to continue to build this team so uh, let's get into some scouting here I'm thinking and obviously really need you know left tackle. we looked at the left tackle and uh, guard positions but now I think we're gonna look at corners um, let's see what we got here so we got at least four first round grades projected so let's see how that turns out so not good starting off there um, when you have a C plus, when you have at least a C in, in one of these three grades, I just wouldn't even trust taking that player. I mean, B's across the board is better, but one C, it, it's just not what you're looking for. Especially, I mean, if you're talking maybe like a third or fourth round grade, that's fine. But you know, first or second, you'd see. So it looks like the corners not looking too good. So a position we needed help on, not uh, really helping us out in the draft per se. So maybe we'll have to look at free agency in that. Or hope uh, one of our players continues to step up younger, maybe as a nickel and dime back, but not looking good there. At least the O-line was looking pretty good. So we're going to sim this game against the Bills here. We'll just super sim it and uh, see how we fare here in Buffalo. Starting off not good, 7-3. to three. Obviously still unbeaten so far in the season, which is crazy to think about. Did not expect that to happen. Take the lead 13-7 as we get in close to halftime. Buffalo retakes the lead 14-13. Looks like we got a defensive ball game here. 17-16 Buffalo. Will they give us the first defeat? We get the touchdown to take the lead. And then we score again to turn it up to 14. And we'll come out of here with a victory. 38-17 here. And look at Reed Gacker. Four touchdowns, 305 yards. So he is uh, starting to look pretty good. Anthony Brown actually got the bulk of the carries there. Not really sure why Kerr didn't get anything. Maybe he got hurt in the game. Possibility there. Spreading the touchdowns around. Looks like Victor Ferguson got himself a touchdown. The rookie receiver. Uh, defense is just looking outstanding. I did not realize how talented this defense really is. You have guys just, these younger guys are starting to dominate a little bit and really carry this team. And speaking of, Caleb Blakely, um, looks like he has a skill point. I don't really care about speed rusher. Your power rusher will get that going there. He's up to an 89 overall, and that is uh, one of our better defensive players. So now we'll head to this Falcons game, and you can see we get close to the end of the game here. Wasn't really too exciting. That's why I went through this one a little bit more. But once again, come away with another victory, 20 to 13. Gacker, solid game, 254, one touchdown. So we still remain undefeated. Uh, Brown with the carries there. I think Kerr was out these last two games. That is why he didn't get any of the carries. But he should be back for the Ravens game that I saw. Pettis with it, got himself another touchdown. Corey Davis, good game, 5 for 75. So at least he's having a very solid season. Looks like Adoree Jackson had two interceptions there uh, with 11 total tackles. So excellent week there for Adoree Jackson. So we got more skill points here. Devin White, Markel Benton, maybe the... Uh, they're right there, maybe the best linebacker duo we've played with here because they are just unbelievable, fly around the field, um, just playmakers left and right. When, uh, you know, linebackers in this day and age aren't usually the biggest playmakers, but uh, you can see uh, it's working here in this franchise as we're going to go now to Baltimore. They are 5-0 as well, so we have an interesting matchup against our former team. We'll see a lot of familiar faces. Lamar Jackson in the season just continues to um, go on the success that we had him with. 15 touchdowns, two interceptions. Barkley almost averaging five a carry. You know, Grimes, Lyndon Huff, Debo Samuel, Paris Campbell Jr. Guys we know so well because we drafted, won Super Bowls with them. We're going to face him here in Baltimore. So this should be a really interesting matchup. You see. Jermaine Pratt, they still have Peppers. A few game guys, Nino Gaddis, guys that maybe we 
uh, they drafted in a few years, but a lot of the still remains the same. Khalil Mack still on the team. Willie Henry, uh, Willie Gay Jr. now there. So it's going to be um, it's going to be interesting for sure to see a lot of these familiar faces. So let's jump into this game here, week number six. We got two five and zero teams in Baltimore. They will receive the ball first, and this kick is going to go out of the end zone like normal and that's where this Ravens offense with Lamar Jackson the two-time MVP with us two-time Super Bowl winner and uh, having a very fantastic season so far 15 touchdowns two interceptions and uh, trying to go to 6-0 here and give us our first loss so here we go starting at the 25 yard line and they're going to start off empty right off the bat Jackson is going to go to Saquon Barkley and we all know all about his receiving game for sure he is excellent at it as he picks up the first down there up to the 36 yard line so second 11 and bark that is going to be nick grimes there with the catch all the way down to the 19 yard line and lamar jackson having a fantastic start against our very good defense so let's see if we can uh, bend but don't break here and that's exactly what we need noah spence had himself a sack last week give him another one here as he picks up the sack there and then knocks him back for a third down so from the gun Jackson looking just a four man rush throws the ball and oh man nice job there I believe was that White who knocked him away there knocks away a touchdown so the uh, Ravens get three points on the first drive and here comes Reed Gakar our young quarterback who has played very well here the last few games and let's see what he can do against this Baltimore defense second and seven and watch out that's the trouble we might have Willie Gay Jr. Khalil Mack on opposite sides they are so quick, so speedy, and obviously our tackle is not the greatest, so that is not a very good start. Third and 13, though, right up the seam, wide open is Corey Davis. He's got himself a huge gain all the way down to the 22-yard line, 49 yards. And coming into this, uh, you know, this team, Corey Davis, a disappointment uh, with the Titans. Not sure what we we're going to get out of him, but he is looking like the best receiver on this team. That is for sure. And here's Kerr with a carry uh, back, I guess, now from injury, picking up five yards. We're going to go back to Kerr. And he's going to have to run through the defender there. That is Tavon Young going through him. Picks up the first down, down to the 11. So we have a nice first drive here. Uh, getting close to go-to-go -go situations. And Kerr keeps rolling there, rumbling, stumbling. He's down to the one and gets a first down, actually. And now we have a goal to go. So second and goal. We're going to go to Kerr, try to pound it in there. And that's going to be close. I think his knee was down beforehand. So we'll go third and goal. We'll go right back to the run with Kerr, and he gets stuffed. So the Ravens' defense and Marcus, Marcus Davenport comes up with a huge stop. We will just settle for three. So nice goal line stand by the Ravens' defense. And the game is tied here, 3-3 three to three in this first quarter. So Saquon Barkley with the carry. And he is a very close to a first down. So third and one here from the 34. Jackson looking, and he's just going to throw this out to Lyndon Huff, who has the catch first down, and they're up to the 36-yard line. Nice job by Jackson. You can actually see him go through his progressions, which is pretty crazy to see. I don't think I've ever really seen that in Madden as a uh, CPU quarterback. He uh, looked the one way, went the other way. That was uh, actually a cool thing to see there as they uh, picked up the first down to Huff. And now brings up another third down here from the 43 as we reach the end of the first quarter. As Jackson looking and wide open is Lyndon Huff. And somebody stop him there. Finally, White is there to bring him down. But uh, Markel Benton got a little bit lost in coverage there as Huff comes up with the big first down. And once again, here's Lyndon Huff on second and two. So he is having a uh, pretty decent first half here. Give himself another catch. That's his third catch and three first downs out of all catches there. So Ravens moving it again here from the 15. Jackson looking, can't find anything. He's going to use his legs. Look, we're so used to. Picks up seven down to the eight. First and goal now. Hand off to Barkley, who just throws off Devin White like he's nothing. Saquon Barkley in for the score. And uh, we need some uh, answers here because we have not been able to really stop this Ravens offense. 10-3 to three to score here in the second quarter. So our offense is going to have to step up and do something. That's a good start, picking up 18 to the 43. And that is uh, Corey Davis with the catch. So we're up to the 43-yard line. Play action now. Gacker just going to dump this one off to Corey Davis. And he has every catch here so far. That's his third one of the uh, first half. And brings up a third and two. We're going to use Brown on the ground there. And he has the first down 
up to the 44-yard line. So our offense is moving it against this defense. This is a tough defense, that's for sure. And actually, the offensive line is holding up surprisingly well. As Gacker, dangerous throw across the uh, his uh, chest there. But Gallup is there open for the catch. And brings up a second and one. So we'll use the power here. And Kirk does get this time. Breaking through. Continuously to carry, guys. And finally brought down at the 22. Ooh, that was close. And Devin Hunter wasn't there to bring him down. Kerr is just going in for the score. That was an excellent run there down to the 21-yard line. But now we have a third and nine. As that's going to be Gallup with the catch. Look at him battling through tackles down to the 12. And because of that, instead of a fourth and two and a field goal, it's fourth and inches, and we're going for it here. So Kerr up the middle, and he has enough for the first down there. And I think, whoa. He got knocked back, and luckily Davenport pulled him forward, or we got that. We would have got that Madden spot, and he would have missed it. And Kerr comes up hurt, so we'll have to keep an eye on that one. First and ten, we still can get a first down. Brown with the catch, and he is all the way down to the one, and that is going to be a first down there. So uh, we have another goal to go situation here. Squandered it last time. Let's see if we can do with this one. Second and goal. Gakar looking, trying to find anything. Watch out. Here comes Khalil Mack, and he throws him down for a sack easily. All the way back to the 18-yard line. And now it brings up a third and goal from the 18. So Gakar looking, and he's going to throw it. And he's going to find Ross Hawthorne there for the touchdown. What a throw. There wasn't a whole lot of room there. Take a look at this replay. Yeah, first of all, you got Khalil Mack just about to, you know, destroy you. And look at the dime between four defenders. The Hawthorne gets the two feet down, touchdown, answer this back. And that shows you why he is the quarterback. That arm strength alone, just slinging it in there for the touchdown. And we have now a tie ball game again here with 2.30 left in the second quarter. So we got a good one brewing here against two undefeated teams as we reach this two-minute warning. Jackson going back, and he's going to be brought down for a sack. So maybe we can finally get a stop here before halftime and get this ball back and uh, possibly get some points before half. So third and 11. They're going to stay aggressive, Baltimore. Jackson looking. He's going to dump this one off. Couldn't find anybody else. Dumps it to Huff. But nice job by Adore Jackson bringing him, him down. We'll call a timeout. And now we got around 30 seconds here with two timeouts. Not really trying to get too aggressive against this defense as that is a great play there by Peppers and knocked that one away. And now second and 10 with 23 seconds left. Dangerous throw there caught by Gallup. We'll have to call a timeout. We got a third and three here from the 41. Not going to be too aggressive. We'll go to the outside there. That is going to be catch out of bounds. So Gallup with another catch there. Actually, Ferguson with a catch. So we're at the 47-yard line, one timeout left. We still need about 20 yards before we can think about field goal range. But forget about that. We're going to get it more than field goal re range. Beating Marlon Humphrey for the score is Dante Pettis. Wow. Did not expect that. Pettis just beat Humphrey off the block for the score. What a way to go into halftime there. Just craziness did not expect that at all and we'll go into halftime with the lead 17 to 10 reed gakar looking impressive with the two touchdowns he is looking good what a first half he had and let's see if he can continue it here in this second half against a very good defense we'll start off with the ball from the 34 yard line gakar on the play action he is looking look at all the ravens around him and finds Corey davis what happened to the blocking there there was at least Five Ravens coming down on him. It's That's crazy. But somehow, luckily for us, we find an open receiver and pick up the first down and more and uh, not get uh, annihilated and maybe a fumble. As now we find O.J. Howard for another first down. So Gackard just looking fantastic in this ball game so far. Really shining here. First and ten. Going to dump it down to Corey Davis. Davis, look at the battling through tackles. Just the effort of these guys in this ball game has been unbelievable. And did not get the first down, though, so it's going to be third and inches. And look at Kerr just running through guys as well. He is back. Uh, the injury was non-significant, just uh, missing a few plays, and he is back ready to go here. 
And now we're already down to the 12. So third and five. Gacker somehow getting away from it. Is going to find Davis again. And Davis has himself another first down. But there's a flag on the play. Not sure what that was. We'll have to take a look at it. It's actually going to be a holding. I think that was Pettis in the end zone. So instead of getting a first and goal, now we're back to the 16 and a third and eight. Gacker, watch out. Pressure coming. And that will be incomplete. So we'll have to settle for three instead of trying to put this lead up to two touchdowns. Now it's 20 to 10. Two possession game here with seven minutes left in the third quarter. Let's see how the Ravens come back. And that's going to be picked off. Markel Benton playing it perfectly. Kind of sat in that zone, baiting Jackson to throw it exactly what he did. He picks that one off. And now we really have a chance to extend this lead here, playing an excellent ball game, excellent second half. Here we go, first and ten. Wide open is going to be Corey Davis. All the way down to the 14th gain of 30. Big time throw there. And you see he's having a heck of a game. Six catches, 132. Trying to uh, cap this one off with a touchdown here. We got a third and eight. Gakkar looking, and he's going to try to force one in there. But C.J. Mosley and I believe Tavon Young there in coverage. But at least we get three out of the interception. Makes us 23 to 10. And our defense is starting to turn it on as Markel Benton had the pick just a few plays ago. Now has the sack. He is just turning into one of the better linebackers here. That's the reason we re-signed him. He is uh, really playing well and uh, doing it in this ball game as well. As in third and 15, Ravens just dump it down there to Barkley. He will come short of the first down, and they will have to punt. And, man, what I'm just stunned, actually, by this game right now. As the Ravens now picking up the pressure there, Willie Henry gets in, but it was Willie Gay Jr. with the initial pressure. Just how much we're kind of dominating this ball game. I mean, this is a 5-0 Ravens team. I am just totally shocked at the moment. I mean, we'll see if anything changes going into the fourth as they do get a three and out and they get their offense back on the field so their defense does get a stop. But they need to get something going here. This offense needs a little confidence. Jackson's going to throw this to Debo Samuel. Makes the catch. He is just laid out by Devin White. But still, that's a catch first down, and they're up to the 15-yard line. So now we get into... The fourth quarter. Big third down here. Third and nine. Jackson looking. It's going to dump this one off to Owens, the backup running back. But Adoree Jackson is going to stop him just short. And the Ravens will have to punt the ball away. So their defense has to step up. Has to get a stop. And this is not going to good start here as Kerr with the run. Just runs right over Tavon Young. And that will be a first down up to the 41-yard line. We'll try to use his power here to uh, get this uh, ball game into the wind column and salt this one away and it is kind of working here the strength and then also poor tackling techniques just the tired beaten defense as Jermaine Pratt pulled Kerr down there by the face mask that'll be 15 yards and that'll put us up to the 26 yard line and now we're moving it here so third and eight from the 30 uh, close to field goal range but you want more than that and that's exactly what we're going to try to get here is OJ Howard with the catch on third down up to the 11 another first down that'll allow us to take more clock off here and just try to put this game away as Gacker now second and 10 is going to dump this one off to Brown and Brown goes forward for a few extra yards he'll be down to the five yard line and brings up a third down we haven't been too successful down here in the red zone putting these uh, in the uh, end zone Let's see what we can do here and it's going to be actually picked off by Marlon Humphrey trying to find Brown there in that Texas wrap Marlon Humphrey means makes one heck of a play diving catch here to pick this one off and keep this Ravens team in this ball game because we get that touchdown there this game is definitely over so they still have a shot here with seven minutes left so at the 23, second and seven, Jackson looking. He's going to take this to Campbell, and Campbell, it's going to be ripped out by Benton, but that's going to be recovered, luckily, by Michael Jordan there. But Benton all over the place. Pick, sack, now force fumble. Just going crazy in this ball game. First and 10, going to dump it off to Owens. Owens is a nice spin move, and that will allow him to pick up a first down to the 48-yard line. So the Ravens moving it here. They need a uh, obviously two scores, but they need a score quickly here because obviously don't want to they want to leave enough time where they can just get a stop so they'll dump it off to Owens again Devin White knocks the ball loose and White's gonna pick it up as well 
Unbelievable play. These linebackers are just taking over the ball game. Owens had the catch there. Just gets laid out by Devin White. Force fumble, fumble recovery. And now let's see if we can put this beam away as we're bringing in Robinson, who's getting himself a shot. He's nice and fresh. And once again, getting pulled down by the face mask is going to give us an extra 15 on the uh, one heck of a run there. Just breaking through guys, showing the power. And we're down to the 12. So first and 10. Look at Robinson bouncing off a few guys. And he's brought down at the 9. Only a game of 3, but still one heck of a 3-yard run there. As we're down now, 3rd and 2. Three minutes left. Hand off to Robinson. Up the middle. Powers through for the touchdown. And that should just about do it. As now with 2.57 left, this is going to be a 30-10 to 10 ball game. And that would be it. Absolute dominant performance here in Baltimore to take us to 6-0. I can't believe this is how this game turned out. It looked like it was going to be a back-and-forth type ball game. But our defense, our linebackers, really just took over that second half. And one is this ball game. 30 to 10. Who would have thought that? We just shut them down and uh, give them their first loss of the season. And I, I I'm still stunned. This team is 6-0 now. Who would have thought that? 6-0 for this Marshalls team. Really, uh, you know, turning some heads here in this uh, season, this NFL. It's crazy. Kerr over 100 yards there at the end. Corey Davis, another game over 100 yards receiving. He is having a fantastic season as well. Pettis with that touchdown right before the halftime. Um, and then defensively, Markel Benton, uh, sack, pick, force fumble. Um, he was outstanding. So... What a job by this defense once again. Just led by the defense. Um, the offense really did perform well, but when you get the turnovers like we did, that helps out a ton. And uh, there you go. That is a victory. Lamar Jackson, not the uh, greatest game. He did start off pretty good, but he uh, slowed down. Saquon Barkley actually went out uh, late in the fourth with an injury, but really didn't do anything there. They really didn't try to establish him with a run. Um, interesting decision by that, but did not work for them at all. And uh, that's a that's a, another W. So six and zero. Couple guys here with a skill point. Ross Hawthorne had himself that touchdown pat, uh, reception in that ball game. There he's up now to a 76 overall. And then we have Tris Rivers. We need all the help we can on the offensive line. It's, it's at some points it looks good, but at a lot of times it is bad. And somehow we just get rid of the ball as quickly as we possible because Gacker, if he stands back there for more than three seconds, he can just get absolutely annihilated. But uh, what happened later in the game too is Noah Spence. I didn't even see he got hurt. He's out for seven weeks, so that's gonna hurt our pretty lack of pass rush. But we'll see how that affects us going forward. As now we face another team we know all well, the Pittsburgh Steelers. They only have one win on the season, but it's going to be a tough road test in Pittsburgh. Can we continue this success, which has been crazy? Can we go to 7-0? It should be an interesting one there and uh, see how this team keeps progressing. So that's going to do it for this one. Big time win against the Ravens, and hopefully we continue on. So if you please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.